We now know the name of the victim. Phineas Neville also went by the name Ebony Morgan. She was shot and killed early Sunday morning on Rivermont Avenue. WSLS 10's Tommy Lopez spent the day in the Hill City where community members say they're still in shock. People knew her here as Ebony Morgan, though she had not changed her name legally. Police have confirmed that she was a transgender woman. They're saying that they're not investigating this right now as a hate crime. But if the detectives get leads, they will pursue it as a hate crime. Today, the community here in Lynchburg is continuing to react. The reaction from the community has been shock. That's um, pretty much every message that we received from a community member at this point has been I'm shocked that this happened. Andy Miller at the Lynchburg Diversity Center says support for family and friends has continued to pour in after the news came Sunday when police said the 28 year old died after being shot multiple times here on Rivermont Avenue. We've um, had a lot of really um, wonderful, loving responses from community members who knew her, um, who were friends with her, who are just, you know, concerned. Um, about other community members. The center is trying to help in the healing process. It will host a meeting tonight at 7. Without TV cameras there, community members will be able to share their reactions with each other, the center, and a statewide anti-violence group. Miller hopes they can take something away from that. The feeling that they've been heard, um, that they're able to talk about where they're at and how they're feeling about the situation. Nationwide, this is the 15th time a transgender person has been killed this year. That's according to the Human Rights Campaign, a national civil rights group. In Lynchburg, Tommy Lopez, WSLS 10. And the center will host an altar building ceremony Friday at 730 to honor all transgender victims.